This is my ozone generator I built out of parts just uh, readily available. So it's out of a computer case. Um, CD-ROM bay has a mesh over it, just a aluminum screen. And there's the fan where it blows out. I switch on there. Um, I'll show you what's inside. Inside there's a neon sign transformer. This does not have um, secondary ground fault protection or uh, ground fault interrupt circuitry. So you can do all sorts of fun and interesting things with these uh, older neon sign transformers, copper wound, not switching. Um, so, and I have these plates here. There's these two glass plates. Each side has uh, the same type of metal screen aluminum. It's just actually uh, gutter guard stuff to prevent leaves from getting into rain gutters. But it works just fine. So there's a uh, there's some um, of this screen on each side of the glass and uh, once you turn it on and the wires connected to them, just bolted to each side um, you get a big corona and that's what produces the ozone and I have two tiers of glass plates you can see there and there, here's where the fan pulls the air out from all the vents from inside the case um, so I got some runtime on this, and it, sa it looks, it sounded like it was working great. It looks like it was working great. Produced a big purple Corona, and it smelt like it was working great. But after two minutes of runtime, it blew out. Transformer blew out. And this is a 30 milliamp, 7500 volt transformer. I don't know if you can see the, fo the uh, specs there. It's not focusing. Um, so there's the high voltage out. It shows the ceramic uh, insulators, and there's the 120 volt primary coil in. Um, so yeah, this I got on eBay, um, around twenty dollars, which I thought was a good deal. Some people go crazy on these things, um, and I blew it out, uh, and now I want another one. <laughs> but before I get one, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you know of a way, or if you built one of these before, is there a way to prevent it from uh, blowing out? I would think a Jacob's Ladder, which is what I was trying with this beforehand, would be a lot more intensive um, than simply having Corona Discharge going on. I mean, it was grunting a lot louder um, before when I was doing um, a Jacob's Ladder, but with this, it was just making some static sounds. I don't know if it had some internal problem or an insulation problem where it just failed, but I don't know. It just doesn't produce any output anymore. Um, so if you've done this before, do you use switching power supplies instead? I, I'm reluctant to use those because I heard those either limit or blow out right away. Um, and also the voltage isn't set on those because I heard those are automatic um, like they dynamically detect your tube and they limit their voltage so I don't know if that would be the best way to go plus you buy them new and they're all commercial grade um, so yeah there's these two plates two tiers of them um, and the fan goes right through there. It just pulls air out from these internal vents. And that's just a fuse box. Very simple, but it was very effective. I don't know if I was, um, if I had too much surface area, and I thought about if I were to get another one, I'd definitely disconnect one of these and just have one. But I don't know if it was because if I had too much load or too little load. Wikipedia stated that it shouldn't matter. They have the magnetic shunts inside that limit itself from blowing out. But it failed anyway. Um, so I'm not sure if it was too much current or too little. I have no way of testing. I don't have a high voltage meter and I don't know how to adapt my meter to read um, high voltage current passing through it. So. I don't know, I'm kind of in a dilemma. If I were to get another one, <laughs> which they are expensive, they could blow out right away. 
I don't want to do that. So the yeah, ally didn't mess just PVC piping. All this is is uh, isolated from ground. Um, got some silicone on the glass to keep the uh, sheets tight to the glass and in place. Um, I used amazing goop from Walmart to attach the PVC pipe, which I cut out and trembled little slots into. Um, so it works great, it's very stable. It worked great for two minutes. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions, just uh, feel free to comment. Um, I'll be watching, see if you guys have any interesting comments on this, see if any of you guys have done this before. Um, you can also state whether ozone generators themselves, either commercial grade or homemade, are uh, effective. I heard a lot of bad things about them in certain articles. Um, so yeah, just feel free to comment. Oh yeah, by the way, these are just AC capacitors I pulled from a uh, old switching power supply, uh, computer power supply. It uh, just prevents some of the high, uh, well not high voltage, but some of the um, distortion coming from inside this thing, probably produced by this, uh, from getting out to the AC line. So, just in case you were wondering. Um, so that's it. So, uh, please feel free to comment. I'd be interested to see if you have anything to say. Thank you.